Hey everybody, welcome back. Well, we have uh, another brave pilot uh, to try doing this again, perhaps not be hospitalized uh, this time, which would be nice. Um, basically, the, other than the landing, the, the flight path we did last time worked quite well. Uh, the only change we're going to make this time is we're going to stick for three minutes between three and four kilometers on the way up to complete a low flight contract that we picked up uh, and that we did not complete on the last flight. So, uh, with all that in mind, I'm going to swap back into the cockpit and we'll take off. Oops. Okay, lighting off the engines. And, yep, just let me know again when we reach 60 meters per second, which is a decent rotation speed. Okay. Lined up approximately on the runway, we do seem to be. This cockpit does not have very good visibility. Now we seem to be drifting left a little bit. V1. V1 rotation, flaps, flaps to takeoff. Clear. Gear coming up. Flaps to climb. Speed is decaying. 73. Yep. Speed increasing now. Yeah, we're back to level. Coming around on the turn. Made 315. Flaps up, past the 100 meters per second. What was the altitude corridor for the low flight? 3.1 to 4.1 kilometers. Roger. Okay, we've picked up enough speed that I'm raising the climb rate to about 10 meters per second. Okay, we're still well under the cloud bank, as you can see. Behind us, you can see the building of the Cape Launch Complex, vehicle assembly building. See the Banana River and Merritt Island. Feet wet. Crossing over onto mainland Florida. Altitude 1600, speed is 159. Pitching up a little bit, feet dry. Reach the mainland. Coming right a little bit to stabilize on 315. Much less cloudy day than the last time. 
bit of low-lying clouds, mostly just some haze. Speed is stable at 161. Pitching up a little bit more. Altitude 3100. Yeah, that we do seem to have an issue with that overlay right now. So I'm gonna kill and restart it, and we'll have to use CCFS because IP is wrong. I, I can I can give you the numbers. I I have the numbers. This is this is close enough. I think. Um, no, it looks like, it looks like they weren't wrong, actually. Right, but it's not up to date. You might be thinking you may want to pull. Okay, leveling off. Yep, so you're level at 3820. Okay. All right, a T plus sixteen minutes. Plus we'll start. 30. Yeah. Yep. All right. Roger. Sorry. What's not up to date? Um, the the trajectory one. You probably want to pull an update. Um, I did. But let's try. Swapping them around and see if that makes it feel better. All right. Is that better? That does not appear to be updating. It says T plus 1325. Is very odd. Let's try killing and restarting it again. Now it's updating. Wonder what happened to it. Okay, yeah, that's updating, but that's definitely not the latest because it's missing some uh, readouts. It's missing, it's missing speed and G's. Yeah. Yeah, no, I haven't pulled since the last flight. That's why I was asking if you changed stuff before. Uh, well, I added speed and G's like days ago, so. Right, but I, I haven't actually updated my local Conrad since since our last mission, so that's. Oh, right, I see. Well, in that case, the, the ILS display that that one has on there will definitely not be reading correctly. Okay. Yeah, I mean, while we're waiting for this to complete, I can I can um, just kill both displays and both displays and restart them. That's not a problem. If you have, I can pull an updated code. And you had latitude and longitude to specify for the location. Indeed, I do. All right, so let me do that. Uh, apologies, stream. You'll lack telemetry for a minute um, while we get this sorted out.
but it's basically just flying level for another couple minutes. So, all right, you're pushed. You're, you're synced with Gip. Yep, definitely pushed. All right. Okay, and what's the command for the positions? Uh, dash dash init dash lat equals 28.613. Yep. And init... Is it long or long? Uh, init long minus 80.618. And probably also give it dash dash ground dash alt equals 80. Assuming you are going for the wrong way. Yep. Ground out with no dashes? Uh, ground dash out okay. equals 80. Alright. That does seem to be working correctly, so that's good. Um. And descent console doesn't even need calves, it doesn't, doesn't care where you are. Okay, well, I figured I'd specify it anyway. Um, command not found. Oh. That's intriguing. You've copied the dollar sign. Yes, that. Telemetry's back, and we have completed the contract, I believe. So now our climb can begin again. Yep, downrange is 109. Okay, that's intriguing. We're going to have to climb fairly quickly, so we don't get too far downrange this way. Well, we can turn part way through the climb. That is true. Probably better. Yeah, well, I mean, even 109 is not close to the 175 that we actually were. So, we'll be alright. Indeed. Yeah, it means less bleeding of speed towards the end. This is true. Yeah, I think to give us a suitable margin, we probably want to yep. aim for about That's, 150. Yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking, actually, I'm going to start the turn now. Really? Yeah. Maybe a bit close in. We are at 125 already. 50 kilometers to play with extra is fine, given that... Yeah. We are going to overshoot by a bit. Okay, it's your call. Yeah, I just, I, I would rather have the margin the other way, you know? Yep, I, makes perfect sense. <laughs> Alright, we're about aligned with VRR now? Yep, that's bang on. Okay, stabilized. Continuing the climb. We should sap about downrange 110. Maybe 105, I think. Are we 
doing? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I don't think you'll have made 8k by then. Yeah, no, it'll be closer to like 95 maybe. Side. You can see we've turned around. We're now over mainland Florida. Far away in the distance, you can just see the outline of Cape Canaveral. Sitting high above the clouds now. You can see the Atlantic Ocean. And around behind us, you can see the lake, and further on, the large build-up area of Orlando. Downrange 105. Okay. Six and three quarters. Do another turn. Downrange 100, Angel 7. Concur. Yeah, we're just not getting quite enough altitude quite fast enough for this to be really viable. That's, we're bleeding speed too fast at that kind of climb rate. Let's try that. eight. Downrange 110. Okay, we might as well stretch it out to nine since we're making up some downrange. Every kilometer we gain here, we gain a lot because of the lower drag and better expansion on the XLR11. to climb. <laughs> Flaps up. Angels 8.5 and range 121. Okay, it's still looking pretty good.
well past critical altitude on the UMO 213Es, but they still have plenty of horsepower even this high up. You can see we're now well into the mainland. Down range 126. Coming up on nine kilometers. Getting ready for a turn. This time I'll go around to the left. Can we stay over land? Down range 130. All right, nine kilometers, starting the turn. Roger, go for a turn. a little speed. I want to keep the climb rate positive. And we should be about lined up, I believe. Yes, track looks good. Okay. Stabilized. Alright, let's let's try some. Downrange 130? Downrange 130, okay. Okay. Going to manual. Slight dive. Throttle all the way right, back. Go for a step. Ignition. Good ignition. Propulsion looks nominal. All right. Let's get out of here. Climbing at fifty. Concur. Angels 10. Mark 1. Angels 11. Some back forces on the stick. Angels 12, three minutes. Angels 13. How far ahead is the apogee? Apo 15. Okay. Uh, about one, one above. All right. Burn time? Uh, 2 minutes 30. Okay. Apo, one, uh, Apo 17. Okay, going for a climb. Apo 20. Come on. Come on. Looking good. Get up to the 45 degree line. Apo 24. Two minutes. Okay. Apo 27. Apo 30. kilometers. Side slip. 90 seconds. Really hope we're going to get over 50, but I have some doubts. Got some doubts. Apo 36.
Yeah. We're probably not going to hit 50 this time. 60 seconds. What's our apogee? Apo 40. Right. 40.5. 40 seconds. Apo 41.5. Forty-two. Thirty seconds. Forty-two point five. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds. What's your average? Climb is null. Climb is null. Okay. You are descending. Burnout. Right. 1216. Yeah, so we hit the 1200 mark. We hit Mach 4, but we did not get 50 kilometers altitude. Downrange? Uh, downrange is plus 8. We already passed plus it? Plus 10. Okay. Alright. Starting the turn. Incur. Let's bleed some more speed. Down range forty two. That didn't take long. I mean it is a kilometer it is over a kilometer per second, so kind of expect it, but man. Altitude 24. Mach 3. VOR. Downrange seven. Downrange seventy three decreasing. Please steer. Uh, VOR is three three four. Suggest steer three one five. Okay, uh, I'm gonna steer. Actually, I believe we're over land, aren't we? Still? Oh no, we're actually we're right on the coastline still. Looks like. VOR three three nine. Downrange 58. Okay, and we're going to be passing over the Cape very soon. You can see the Cape below us. Once we're over the Cape, I'm going to come right. Well, um, no. Stay on this heading and then do a great circle, right? I want to be lined up basically flying directly south to fly over the Cape once we're down below about 8 kilometers. So there's a nice long grass strip to land on. Okay, I believe you're about transonic now, 300 meters per second. Yep.
feet dry over the cape. Downrange 30. Are you sure the downrange is actually the ground distance and not the hypotenuse? Because I don't think... Um, no, that's. I guess that's possible. All right, never mind. That's possible. Uh, yeah, down down range is definitely uh, okay, ground cool. track, not slant range. Okay. Uh, down range twenty. Right. Uh, Nineteen. Yeah, we're passing right over it. VOR three four eight. Yeah. Down range 10. VOR due north. Should be directly above it. Uh, downwind four. Downrange has bottomed out. And you've crossed the center line. And that was at 13 Ks of altitude. Yep. Just passing that on the way down. Um, yeah, when we get about 40, 45 kilometers downrange, I'm going to start my turn to the right, I think. You concur? Downrange 22. Downrange 36. Downrange 
Down range 40. Go to make your turn. Concur. Beginning the turn. VOR. VOR 152. So you say you want you want targeting at the essentially the overshoot from your current perspective rather than bringing into a runway. Is that correct? Yep. Yeah, I'm just gonna land on the grass basically. Roger. Vor 157. Looks good. Okay. Let me know when you believe you've established your stable glide slope. Yeah, it's got to pitch down a little bit more. We're bleeding speed a little fast. All right. Stabilize. Okay. ILS says 27 kilometer overshoot. Okay. You, you may want to make S turns or other energy. Yeah, I'm going to pitch movements. down a little bit more. Yeah, okay. I see what's going on. All right, going manual. Yeah, we're way high. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna bleed off speed in a, some S turns. Roger. Tell me when I drop to 150. We'll go. Okay, actually, I guess I can. All right, I, yeah. All right, I still have enough view with the nap all up to do this. All right, one fifty. Okay. Uh, VOR one five two. Bring it left twelve. Uh, Sorry, right I, 12. Yeah, I have field in sight. I'm going to try to not get anywhere near the runway this time. Up over 200 again. Got to bleed off some more speed. All right, I want to line up about here, I think. Whoa, getting some Roger. serious... Serious shimmy there. Yeah, we saw your 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 G force went into the red zone there. That can't have been comfortable. No, it was not. Uh downrange five kilometers? Okay, yeah, we were only about 100 you are now meters. Climbing? Yep. No, we got way too low. Yeah, we were down to like 300 meters. That was it. Down to 100 meters. We've climbed to 300 meters now. All right. Gear down. 
downrange one kilometer, you're uh, you're 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 passing the field now. Yep. Not again. I think we lost the engine. Let's try a nice gentler landing this time. Why is why do we have some pitch instability? Descent rate ten. There's something, something happened. Uh, 